Hey, this is Sour Blow from XBI Podcast, and today I got a special video for uh, you channel members. So recently I was at an event called Retro Games Con. Uh, the plan was to go with, like an, a full in-depth tour around the whole uh, Retro Con. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of things happened <laughs> through that weekend. I, I actually had the ticket for like the weekend, as you can see here. But unfortunately, I could only go for one day, and I did everything like it was like in a flash, like because I had visitors in my house, my family was here, I had other things I needed to do with them. Um, but I managed to squeeze in a few hours, and I managed to to make this video for you guys. So, um, without further ado. Um, Here's the video. So when we first got in, uh, there was a long, long line. Uh, I actually took a picture, but it got deleted where it was raining and the line went all around the block. But as we went in, uh, the I Love Retro game uh, gave us the, the welcome. My son took a few pictures there with Mario and Pikachu. Uh, then we went inside. There was... First thing we can see, of course, is there's a lot of vendors, a lot of people walking around. So we started doing the tour. You can see in the back the, the big uh, Ghostbusters. Thing. Um, here I, I had to get one of these. I actually got the Pokemon one. Uh, I was trying to get the Chronos trigger, but I, there, there weren't none with the magnet, so I didn't get one. Uh, here were there were some games for the kids. My son there trying to <laughs> trying to get a prize. Um, he couldn't get none of the first try, but then the second try he did pretty well, as you can see. Here. Oh! Oh! Here uh, he took pictures with some Star Wars characters. Um, there were there was a lot of Star Wars in this section. As you can see, BB-8, more Star Wars, and more pictures. <laughs> Here's my youngest son. Something to me. My wife with the kids. Took some pictures. Here's a vendor that had a lot of different things, some anime stuff, different cartoons, different collectibles. Some stuff animals. Ooh, good thing my son didn't see that Pikachu right there. Here, as you can see, there's some like cool frames where they put put the controller apart and put them in a frame. It's pretty cool. This right here is where there was the cosplay contest. As you can see, there was Peach, there was Mario, there's a bunch of different costumes. This right here is a, like a pixel art style. They were pretty, pretty cool. I was almost about to get the, the Chronos Trigger character since I couldn't get the, the canvas. And 
here we can see now this is uh, like a and here we can see some pretty cool like pixel frames pretty cool I also wanted one of these out so. pretty awesome Here's some nice posters with different uh, comic book characters. They're really, really good. And these are custom like sneakers based on like cartoons or. Uh, Video game characters. <laughs> and there I met Mario. <laughs> Pretty cool. This is a premium edition uh, booth. They're actually a publisher. And they publish games for Nintendo Switch, as you can see. So, if you guys know any of these games, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about them. I found these. These look. These are actually pretty cool for those of you that have Pokemon cards. You can actually replace the Pokemon cards and put which, whichever card you want. Yeah, so pretty cool stuff all around. So kudos to to all these creators, man. Here's my son playing the OG Mario Kart. Here are some developers, which um, you know they're showing their crap. There was a lot of interesting, cool things, like people hacking old consoles and like you know. Hacking the games and, and and making their own version and you know some of these are from the ground up. As you can see, everyone here plays a retro game, and here we got Gerald of Rivia, and we have the rest of the cats. I I had to take some pictures with pretty cool costumes. As you can see in the background, Nolan North, Doc Coggles, and Naji Jeter. So, so, yeah. I managed to get an autograph and a picture. And, you know, it was a, it was a very nice experience overall. Very, very nice. Um, I wish I had more time, so I could have sat down with the rest of the, the people that were there. Uh, here's some Maverick Studio, so there's their art. And here we have the Ninja Turtles. Here's my family, they're taking a picture with them. <laughs> my youngest was scared. <laughs> so he he didn't really want to be in the picture. <laughs> I try to I try to get him but I could He was he was pretty scared. And here's a few of the pictures. Uh, 
and then of course we got Ghostbusters. My son is a huge fan of, of Ghostbusters. He actually I likes the old one better, so that's that's pretty interesting and kind of cool. Because I, I also think the old ones are, are better, but of course that's me. I didn't expect him to like the older ones. Here we had a very nice co concert with you know, different uh, sessions. They went in and we did this stuff. There's some video games. As you can see here, they're playing the Mario theme. I want to know guys, because I think, I think New York should have a big event. Just like in California there's uh, E3, there should be a big event, event in New York. Let me go, let me know guys if you agree, but there has to be. And basically that was it, that was right here we are leaving, my son saw some more Pokemon, he's a huge fan of Pokemon now, so. He had to get some pictures. <laughs> I'm telling my wife to get out the way. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. Jaden with Take the mask out. Simon Cypher's favorite cartoons. And favorite video game. Pokemon. So basically this was the tour I did um, around the, the, the place. As you can see, everything was, it was kind of so fast, kind of rushed in a way, but I wanted to see everything I could. I wanted to capture a little bit to show to you guys. Um, unfortunately also, I was supposed to go with my buddy uh, Eternal Shaddai, he bailed out on me. So, you know, I had to capture everything and all that. But, um, I do want before I end the video I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of the like the venues that were there and and, and, and different persons that, that I met there so I'm gonna go through these through this list right here of these cards and then I'll try to see if I miss any of them um, I'll try to mention them see if I can remember off the top of my head uh, but we got here MF the art of Matt Flicks. Flint and I believe uh, if you saw in the video this was the the venue that had like the posters with like artwork um, they actually look pretty cool so if you want more information too you can contact me and I can give you I actually have a card so I can give you their social media but, you know, if I go through every social media, it will take long. Uh, the next one is, let me see, non-age non and non .net, And let me see, Jeremy Rhodes. Well, this was actually a developer I met. So, he had, uh, he and his wife was there. And let me see. Can't see where, I go. oh, there you go. So, they had, like, I believe it was like a platformer that he was developing and I believe it was coming to consoles also so it was currently on Steam and it was also coming to console so hopefully in the video we can see the, the name of the of the game uh, I did everything so fast so excuse me for that but uh, let me keep going we got Rock Game Dev that was another developer um, which there, there were several developers, so I, I quite don't remember all the games, and this was back 
at the beginning of October, so excuse me, um, you know, if any of the developers see this video, I'm probably doing pretty bad, but yeah. Um, let me see, I got this. Canva Quest. Okay, I believe this was where I actually got, uh, let me show the car for it. Canva Quest. So yeah, I believe this is where I got, you see that Pokemon um, little canvas thing? So the cool thing about that, the Charmander is actually like a magnet. So if I wanted to, I can buy, purchase another Pokemon magnet and I can switch them and, and place another Pokemon. And there were several other art style, other arts. Uh, I actually wanted a Chronos Trigger. Unfortunately, they didn't add it at the mo like at at the place. But you can actually like if you want it, if you want a certain art, you can actually like um, contact them and they'll probably make it for you. Um, let me see. Oh, this is another car. It's it's the same place, but Canvas Quest. I I really like how how their art look like look with the canvas and the magnet i thought that was pretty pretty cool okay the next one let's see scott um i mean not scott sorry scott wilson was the guy that was there but it's premium edition so premium edition is actually a publisher and they publish games for the nintendo switch and the guy was pretty pretty cool uh hopefully maybe we can bring him to the channel as like an interview or something so i'll work on that um the next one is many cool things many cool things and i believe i believe this is where they had um kind of like the holographic like art um they had like a sonic cool thing that it would kind of like it, they look pretty cool honestly like that was one of the other things I kind of wanted to get, but I was also short on money that day. Um, let's see, let me try to go quicker. We got Castle Towns Creation. Castle Town Creation. Now, off the top of my head, I don't <laughs> exactly remember what they had, so I apologize. But if I have the card, it was because they had something interesting. Uh, we got Maverick Studios. Maverick Studios, so shout out to them also. Let me see, custom perler design. Um, I believe this might be the place where they had kind of like the pixel art things. I could be wrong, but no, I believe they, they were called pixel something, like pixel studio, but that, that looked pretty cool too. This might have been like the other thing that looks kind of like pixelated too. That was kind of cool. Um, let's see. I have here video game and design development. Midnight Blue International. Okay, Midnight Blue International, you can't really see much. But this guy, um, he actually, I, I guess he had like an Atari game. And what he did is like he changed the code to change some things around. And he had like a piano running the game uh i mean it's pretty cool it's pretty cool when you can go in a game change things and, and aspects like you know hats off to all the developers now the last one i have here is half shells heroes and they were the ones that were dressed up as uh the ninja turtles um there was a lot of really cool cosplays there we had the ninja turtles we had a lot of star wars so shout out to them we had the ghostbusters um uh, we had some people that i think there were in the contest they were dressed up as the witcher you probably see in the video that i took pictures with them um of course you know in this show we had none other than uh no north was there um, I also saw Tim uh, Chris Roth, which uh, he does the voices for like the old NBA and NFL Blitz, NBA Jam, uh, you know, Mutant Ninja Turtle, Nolan North. Uh, I mean, he's the voice of Drake. He's the voice of so many other uh, important characters. Um, Metal Jesus Rock was there. Uh, he's like a content creator. He's pretty big. 
Um, I actually didn't get to talk with him, but he was there. Uh, Nate Nagy Jeter, which I believe he's the voice of Miles Morales. He was also there. I, I really feel bad that I had such short time. Now, the person that I did meet and greet and, 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 and he actually signed my, uh, my Witcher, um, uh, display over there was none other than Doc Coggles. Uh, I probably pronounced it horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm bad at <laughs> saying names, but yeah, it, it was a very interesting experience. Sorry, I'm going super long on this. Um, I wish I could have like record everything and actually talk while I was like, you know, seeing everything, but I was short on time. Uh, my helper didn't come. So, but next time, hopefully there's an event like that. I will try to prepare better. And I let me know guys, if you like this kind of content, I could try to make more. Um, but that's it. Uh, <laughs> see you guys on the next video.